a few moments until 9 30 a.m est this is normally my trading session i did take a trade a little while ago it was four by just a little scout to test the waters a little bit this morning and um i've already done my uh analysis on the higher time frame so what i'm basically waiting for now is to see if price is going to do something that i think it's going to do which is probably come down into this OB right here. And this is the one minute time frame. So I'm not really too big on uh, trading on the one minute time frame, but I do like challenging myself. So here on this one minute time frame, we did break some structure. And um, I'm looking to see what that 930 candle does. If we can come back down into this uh, OB, I take it up for a buy right in here. And we do have exactly less than one minute. As you can see, that is mine. 29 a.m. So I'm not going to do anything until price comes down to this level. Okay, it's still not 920, 930 yet. It's now 9.30. Okay. Price. Okay, what is it going to do? Because it looks like it went up into here. If it goes into here, then I'm going to take a sell. If it comes down into there, I'm going to take a buy on it. So let's see what it does. We have two areas of interest. This is my higher time frame stuff. Okay, so we did. Looks like we're coming down into here. It just left us high in the middle of nowhere. Okay, and this is price letting us know that it is going to go down. The buying uh, move already happened. This is where it pushed up in here. So now if I want to take an opportunity... I'm going to wait for price to come back into here. I did think that I was going to catch that little buy there. So I'm just going to be patient. And go back and check my four hour just to keep... Okay, just to, just to make sure that I'm staying on track on what I was waiting for. So price bought up into this key area here on the four hour time frame, And what I'm looking for is for price to come down into discount based off the swing high and swing low. So this is why I was waiting for price to buy up just to give me that entry. So I'm going to head back down to the uh, smaller time frame just to see where I can get in. Um, and take price down to this discounted area. So let's go back. And now I'm going to have to wait for like a break of structure, a re-enter, re-entry uh, for this to play out for me. So I'm back on this one minute time frame. Price is continuously breaking structure to the downside. Remember, we still have this area. And now we have a high to target, which is like right here. Okay, so we broke structure, a new low. This is probably showing us that it's breaking structure to the downside. What I want is an entry here. I'm willing to wait for it. I'm not going to chase price. And I'm remembering what I'm looking for and waiting for on the higher time frame as well. So 
um, may take a little bit of time, may not. And this is still that, that 9.30 a.m. setup. Okay. Okay, so it's 9.33, so three minutes after the New York Open. And price is kind of playing around in the area here. It did break structure. This is the candle that technically broke structure and it did technically come in and retest. But what I'm paying attention to is the high that it left. It could have gone in for that OB, but it did not. And it's suspicious to me. So I want to wait to see if we at least go up to take out that high and uh, come down from there. I would be interested in taking a position from there. Why was I not beat on trading against the trend? Because even though I'm waiting for price to go up into an order block, a uh, price went lower actually, which could have stopped you out of the trade. And it's simply because you're trading against the trend, right? We don't get to determine how high it wants to go. Price could completely melt from this area and we could miss the entire setup. But um, I feel confident in waiting because waiting has proved to me over and over again uh, that it's worth it <laughs> and not chasing price. So I'm just waiting for price to climb up into this area, uh, take out that that high that it left uh, right before it opened, and maybe I can uh, start my trade. Okay, so it's four minutes and um, I'm not sure if price is using this as a little supply, but I'm not going to be tempted to enter here. I'm just going to allow that sweep to happen. Remember, if we want to take a selling opportunity, we want to see like a previous high being swept um, before we take the opportunity. Otherwise, we are at risk for our high being swept and we don't really want that. So let's see. And once again, I'm not going to I'm not going to take the opportunity there. I want to actually see the high being taken out. Okay, perfect. I could also set like a, a limit as well, um, which I think if I want to do that, um, let's see. may do that pending I'm still not gonna get in uh here okay guys so it's 9 36 um I was watching price right before uh 9 30 open so what has happened here is I have my higher time frame objective. If we head over to the four hour time frame, as you can see, I'm bearish today. I'm waiting for price to go down into discount on this four hour time frame. As you can see, um, I've what I have so far is that price came into a key level on the four hour time frame. We now have a swing low and a swing high. And what I'm looking for is for price to come into discount at least on the four hour time frame. We do have some imbalance and area and an area of interest as well. So back on this one minute time frame, what I'm doing is I'm watching price. I have a bearish OB here on the one hour time frame. Uh, with the 930 candle did was it came up. Uh, into here, into this area, it left behind a high. So I'm actually waiting for this high to be swept for price to tap into this OB. Um, the idea that I have is that when price is ready to come back down, I have a pending limit here, sell limit, obviously. And uh, once price is ready to come down, I want to take price to my four hour discounting area. Um, and that is the setup for today. That would be my 930 uh, open a trade for today, right? So it's taking a little bit of time um, and I'm not gonna follow or chase price. I'm just gonna allow price to sweep the high uh, or sweeps whatever highs that it feels like it needs to sweep. And on the way down, I plan to be uh, tagged in to this particular trade. So what I'm gonna do is I may just um, pause um, 
the recording. And when it goes to the area, I'll continue to record um, just to see what happens. And it looks like price is creating some sort of supply here, but I'm still not going to be tempted to sell from this area. It's not my area. I'm okay with missing trades, uh, waiting for my area as well. So I'm um, just going to let price run, do what it needs to do. If this happens, then I'll be uh, taking a trade. This is going to be my second trade. I did trade right before the, uh, the 930 open. Uh, so let's see how it goes. Okay, so I've allowed it to move for about 10 minutes and I'm still uh, watching. We've made some progress. Price is actually moving upward. Um, okay, I spoke too soon, but <laughs> let's see what it does. So I know there are a lot of people slapping on sell positions in this area, which is wonderful um, because this is what I wanna see, right? When you're making a trade, you want to actually think for other traders. Where are the majority of people looking to slap on a trade? And um, you want to actually see them being taken out, unfortunately, before you get in. So I'm still waiting, still waiting. Um, when we get closer uh, to taking out that high, I'll resume the recording again. Um And once again, I'm still waiting for this high to be swept. Okay, guys, so we're uh, actually closer to taking out this high. It is now 9.53, uh, just 20 plus minutes after the New York Open at 9.30 a.m. EST. The best trades are the ones that you actually have to wait for. So I'm not at all um, upset that I'm actually waiting for this setup to, to happen. I do have set up here is a pending sell limit. This means that when price is ready to come back down, I will be tagged into this trade. And where will I take this trade in the event that I'm tagged in? If we go to the four hour time frame, I'll show you what I have there. Here's that area that you guys seen on that one minute time frame. Okay, guys, my original um, entry was here where you saw that limit. And what I did was um, I was trying to navigate this thing and take some partials, but I actually closed the position. And so I did enter another position here. As you can see, I'm in profit 1,320, well, not 1,175 dollars. The idea is to take it down to this um, OB at watching. Check out the very next video for my higher time frame analysis on how you guys can actually join in and um, participate in some of the movement that I'm anticipating. Looks like we may break this zone and, and continue down. If we break the zone and continue down, I'm going to head up on the higher time frame just a little bit, maybe the one hour wait for a break of structure or retest, and then I'm going to continue down if that is the buy side suite for today. Thank you guys for watching. Check out the very next video.